G'day everybody and welcome back to Reactor Gaming with Chris and James and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. We are back here on the rematch. That's right, peoples. We are going to be having a rematch. I feel I was... Dealt, oh, come on, really? Dealt an unfair hand in the first one. You saw the thing spin. <laughs> I Who know. Who spun it? No, no, but seriously, I, 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 I know. On a real, on a real, what we want to do now is actually take on board a lot, of, a lot of the comments that we got from the previous video. We want to probably do something a little bit more realistic, some real scenarios that potentially could happen. But then we're also going to do some ridiculous things like a uh, hundred demons, maybe? The little ones? Yeah, just the little ones. Okay. Oh, demon boss. We'll do one oh. we'll do one demon boss because that is realistic. Don't they come out? The demon no, bosses? No, they don't come out. No, 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 they don't come out. Oh shit, they don't. I've no. seen them come out. When? Well, it happened on Kills for Thrills' video. A random bloody demon boss came out. I swear to god that has happened. Yeah, it does. It does. All it, right. It okay. does, doesn't it? I swear it does. Yes, it does. It does. We have. We, I've had a couple on my survival. Okay, good. I'm not just me. I thought I was going crazy for a second. Then, righto. We will start oh, yeah. on James's one because we're already here. Yep. No spinning the wheel this time. We're just gonna get You're balls gonna bombard it, aren't you? Balls deep into this. Let's do it. That now you got to put it. Bit of, oh no! If you put it about here. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. Yep. All right. We'll go back a little bit. That is straight on the defense. Is the Mate, what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight up. We're going to go um, something very, very... You know what? Let's just go like five twinsies. Ten? Five? We'll go one twinsie. Those puffets usually come through a fair bit. Yep. And uh, what about the John 2s? John 2s sometimes, but usually... Well, this... Which is the really yep. aggressive one, Mr. or Mrs. Puffet? Oh, I don't know. It's probably the Mrs. Yeah. I mean that in the nicest way. <laughs> All right, we've got a few of them here. They seem to be a little dazed with the daylight at the moment, so I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, there we go. Oh. Here we go. Here, here we go. go. So normally they come. They come full force. So first oh. things first, your traps are just annihilating them, but you have zero defenses at the front now. Yep. Bit, uh... Absolutely no defenses whatsoever. So, okay. That was easy. That was really so easy. Left a twinsy. No. Ooh, no. Oh, no, 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 he's still there. Dead. Look at him. They're all sort of oh. up here in the corner. What's up? You're trying to escape, are you? Okay, let's have a look. We'll have a look at. Oh, I was going to add a shark then. I thought, nah, that's not realistic. <laughs> Uh, the cannibals, well, they have sort of no chance to get through these walls. That's a problem. Uh, heavy males, they, oh, they don't work. Uh, muddies, they're pretty damn useless. They, the only <laughs> thing that muddies do is, is they uh, spawn in, in the base. That's yep. about it. They, they don't no really way. do too much. Yeah. Hey, come on, guys, over here. Come on. Yeah, they're going to try to get through. Oh, one got through. Oh, they climbed the tree. Hey, look at that one on the tree. How do they get through? Do they crawl under the fence? Oh. I don't know. Okay, they had to have because... A couple got through. Yeah. I saw one on the tree, but I don't know if he jumped. Yeah, there's one just incinerated here. Oh, there's another one in there. Oh. Okay. They are getting in. How are they getting in? This is what we're going to find out. Oh, no. Set off the damn trap. Hey, this one's aggressive. You know what? Really, if you could, you notice they're putting more of them out there that are muddies with gore gear on them. Yeah, I've noticed that. A lot of them. A lot of them. Yeah, and they're so... They're so hard to... Take down and fight. Oh, oh they got you. Uh oh, there we go. You had to do a leggy, leggy didn't you? I had to, unfortunately. Uh, because that leggy's gonna just 
wampum all. Oh, maybe not. Oh, the legs is down. Yep, legs is down. We got some Franks, we got some Gregs, we got girl. some Ninja Girls, whatever they are. Ellie's or she something like that. Over. She got she in. Over. She just died. I just saw her whole body explode. Yeah. So these guys will keep hammering this wall until all eternity and they're not going to get through. So I right. really, really believe yes. uh, the wall yes, me. Yeah. The wall is your best defense against any sort of cannibals. Yeah. Or any sort of mutants even. I want to well, finish this off real quick with 50 um 50 demons, okay? Yeah. Uh, it's probably easier if I just type it in. Yesterday I had a um a holly that was ambushing me out of my base. Yep. Every time I go for it, he would just start running at me. Yeah, that sounds about right, dude. Or rolling. You know what this reminds me of? Remember right. in Australia, right? We had a rabbit problem, so they introduced... Oh, yeah. um, or in Queensland more more particularly, they had a yeah. um, a rabbit problem. So what did they introduce for that? Was it a foxes? I can't no. remember. It was probably the dingoes. I thought it was the dingoes as well. And what? I just sort of did that with the cannibals, so they were a problem. Oh, Jesus Christ. These guys will just keep stuffing around. They're not going to get through the defenses. I do believe. When that big one comes out, that's when... See, that's the only one you got to worry about. The big yeah. ones, the hollies, the uh, legsies, um, finger, not fingers, uh, creepy Virginia, stuff like that. The ones that and can the jump. John twos, John twos, John yeah, twos. John twos. They can't jump, but they could flop through things. Yeah. I stood there for 20 minutes the other day trying to beat up a um, a John two through the wall. Yeah. While while the base was while the water was on um, ice. Yeah. And he was just like sitting out there just flopping one over the other, just trying to cycle his way through the base. Yeah. The wall. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... So, this is the problem with the defences in Sons of the Forest. You could have a great big wall that, in theory, they should not be able to get through, but I literally just saw one jump through. But... Yeah, look at this fella here. He just... Yeah, yeah, through. yeah. You know how? I saw him. I saw exactly how he did it. If you watch back, everyone, he dived through the gap. I saw him... Me. I saw him dive through the gap. No bullshit. Just saw it. So, okay, these are very strong, these walls, but they're not impenetrable. In impenetrable. That's probably how the muddies got through. I swear I saw one do it, but I didn't believe my eyes. Yeah. It's just a random raccoon here. Oh. Hello, Mr. Raccoon. What do, you, what do they call them again? Trash pandas in America? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that name. Little trash panda. At least they're better than the skunks. Those assholes will spray you. Hmm. So, okay, that wall is really strong, but not ideal. Yeah. yeah. Probably your normal flat wall would be the best idea. Yeah. Or you could put... On one base, I had I had um, this wall on the outside, and um, two, tight, two spaces in, two log distances in, I had another wall. Yeah. And um, in the wall, I had uh, things like... In the inside wall, I had like, uh, what I call it, um, oh, you bastard, and stuff like that. Yep, electric fences that would have been a good idea. The electric fences yeah. would have got taken down so quickly. That's the problem. Where did the demon hmm. boss go? I just saw him around here somewhere. Is there a big fella? Yeah, I don't know where he went. He attacked me, then he ran away. Oh, there he is. They're like little sheep over there. Yeah, there he is. Jeez, they're not going to get in. They're not going to get in. That that uh, demon bot should be earlier than that. Well, if I stood over here, he probably would. You watch. Yeah. If he saw me, 
He's real focused on this wall at the moment, though. Yeah. Oh. What a freaky looking dude, eh? Yeah. Uh oh. He's gonna scale. I oh, know. He's just attacking another wall. Hello there, little fella. Uh, pet that uh, dog? Yeah, I ain't petting that dog. Uh, oh, pet, pet uh, that dog. <laughs> Get up pet that dog. <laughs> All right, I've seen enough here, mate. Yep. The base is strong. It's not impenetrable. Uh, not impenetrable because of that. No, no, gap. it's not the word I'm looking for. But yeah, it's not indestructible. It's not foolproof. You can things will get through. Let's go to yep. my one real quick, and we'll try it out there. Alrighty. We're back yep. here. You know what I thought was a really good idea, James? What's that? If we do this live one day, we'll keep this we'll keep this save. We'll do yeah. a live, like a live uh YouTube video, whatever. Yeah. And we'll get suggestions from people as we as we're live on what we can yeah. actually throw at it or ways we can improve it or things that it can change, you know, things like that. Mm. What do you reckon? Sounds like a plan. I like the idea too. All I right. like it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be good. I want to see people's live kind of reactions to it. All right, we're going to start ourselves off with, uh, let's say, five francs. We're going to Hello, get, some, get, get some Greg. Uh, no, Greg's not a thing. Henry. Get some Henry's in here. And we'll get some of those uh, crazy ones. Oh, come on down here. Come on. There's a few of them now. This is way worst case scenario, but those traps, uh, the grenade traps are really good, eh? Yeah, they really are. I think they're great. Are they expensive? They're just grenades and... It's grenade wire and a stick, I think. Yeah. And that sounds all right to me. Yeah. For what they do, the damage they can do. Yeah, 100%. Uh-oh, one's coming for me. I could hear him. They run away, you chicken. All right, well, that was um, pretty uneventful. uneventful. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's gear it up a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're stupid. But those traps are actually really good. I like it. They didn't even get... Oh, yeah, one did. He died on the he died on the um, sticks. Yeah. Kind of wish I did a... What do you call it? A... Um, you know what I didn't try here? I want to try some fingers. There's you a, know what? They're no good. I, I want to see you drop... I want to see you drop a John 2. A John 2, eh? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's get five of them. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe four. I yeah, spawned them. That's real. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh. They're flopping on yeah. the things, but they yeah, are getting they damaged. They are definitely getting damage. <laughs> yeah. See, they, they can take a little bit of beating, but... Yeah. yeah. That's, a re that, that's a realistic number, that is. I reckon it is. Oh, that finger's has gotten through. Did the finger get... Oh. Yeah, he got over. But he's stupid and he's going to be... Oi! Don't destroy my wall! He took out one of my cables. Oh. oh there we go. He had it coming. That was the last one. Alright, I really want to chuck another 50 um, demons on here. Yep. See how we go. All the grenades are sort of pretty much gone now. and Demons, let's go. 50. Come on, guys. Make something happen. Jeez, they're um. They're aggressive. They are coming over. They are. Hand. Yeah. They surely are, but they are dying there quite well. Yeah. Yeah. The difference, like um. I'm gonna add another fifty. Make yeah. it a neat hundred. The defenses that we've laid are pretty expensive. Like the the amount of 
um, bones and oh yeah, dude. It's without um without cheat stick or mods or yeah. whatever. This would be oh one got over. Uh, hey, hey. An expensive endeavor. Yeah. There we go. Hundred demons. He got through. They're destroying a lot though. They're actually causing a lot of damage. These little bastards. Yeah. But the silly part, like the silly thing about it, is they're all the front um, defenses. But there's another one come through the wall. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're getting it's, through. Yeah. Oh, the other one just got through. But he got chomped. Yeah. That's a... Um, I might have to rethink this bloody... Yeah, the wall, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I've never done... Um, end game scenario, you know, like... Yeah. To have... Get to that sort of stage and then continue to have... Uh, the game going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't because as soon as you hit that last boss, obviously everything comes at you. Yeah. As time goes by. Like I'm at um, 82 days so far, and I'm getting hollies. I'm getting, you know, they're just having a ball with me. I'm just gonna add some cannibals in here and make it a bit more interesting. Yep. Are they gonna turn around and fight? Yeah. Oh, I might have added too much. It's a bit laggy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. What's my FPS sitting at? Uh, 24, 23, 22, 21. Yeah, it's not liking me. Too many of them. Too many corpses. Yeah. But I just laid a shit ton and they just got wiped out by those demons, man. Yeah. Um, what about... Uh, solid ball with murder holes in it. I don't think they're as strong as the ones we have here at the moment. These yeah, may not be perfect. We could fill in the gaps and they'll be like twice as strong. Yeah, well, normally what I do is the bottom layer of the bottom two runs. Yep. I fill in, like say they're solid, but we we, we just didn't do it on these ones here. Yeah, right. I didn't actually think of that. I never and thought it, of that. It makes it, um, yeah, pretty, pretty solid. Like, I've done, I've done it on a couple of bases, but I haven't worried about doing it anymore because I just whack on that, um, uh, no, no base damage. Yeah. Yeah, true. You know, so, but before I knew about that, I used to fill the bottom of the walls in. Yep. So it was just solid stone. Hmm. A the solid. Pretty... The problem is with this game is even if you have a solid wall and in theory you should not be able to get through it they still glitch through mm. they still glitch yeah. through regardless yeah. so at the end of the day your best thing you can do is obviously still have a wall have some spikes have a few other traps maybe don't overdo it like we did like honestly you probably don't need to yeah. um, probably the best fun is actually letting them breach so you got something to do and kill them yeah I like that. I love when they get through in my base. That's what gives me a reason to go out there with the shotgun yeah. and start taking them out. Yeah, well, to, for us, you know, with all these um, these demons and uh, attack happening, we'd be sitting here, you know, three or four guys yeah. just block, just out there just trying to stop them from coming in. You know, it's just that we're not standing here. We're uh, just standing here watching them do the damage. Yeah, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. But yeah, but yeah, it's it's like the spikes. I reckon well placed. Um, what they call it? Uh, grenade. Okay, they're still dying on my wall. You know why? Because around here, the spikes are still in the wall. Yeah, that's what's going on here. Oh, that. Have you dropped a big big guy yet? I have not. A big demon boss. Nah, it's just almost no point, but I'll do it. Yep. Yeah, so... Here we go. You can't go past the spikes. 
did a, as of as of far out. Oh, God. He Jesus. Got to be good and he's um, he's a vicious little bastard. James, go and pet that dog. I'm gonna pet that dog. Pet that me. dog. Pet it. Go on, pet that dog. Go on. Go on. Oh, there he goes. Hey, holy Ooh. shit. Look at him fly. <laughs> hey, buddy. That was like, oh, I want to say a good 200 feet, that one. That was a decent jump, that one. Hey, he's still oh, he's oh hey, there he is. Hey. <laughs> he's in. He's going to destroy everything. Let's just reset a couple of these little traps here. Oh, he didn't like that. He's pissed. <laughs> yeah. And he's yeah. dead. Look at that. The grinder traps actually do a really good job with those big yeah, guys. Yeah, they do, they do mess them up. Like, look at it, though. It's vicious looking. If that was, like, I don't know, I don't know, arrows or something on it or something a little bit sharp, I would say, yeah, cool. Oh, I like yeah. the, the uber traps seem to do well, too. The uber traps, everything does good. Look. Yeah. He's gone. But I think if you've got well-placed... Um, grenade set up around it. Yeah, I think for value for money, prevention is better than cure, and have your spikes there ready for them. Yep, definitely. You know, uh, rocks and rocks and uh, and uh, what do they call them, uh. Oh, I'm shot in the head. <laughs> yeah. Just stick. Yeah, rocks yeah. and yeah, it just sticks, yeah. Rocks and sticks, yep. Cost you nothing. They're in abundance. Kelvin can grab them, no problems at all. And just slowly work them around the Oh, jeepers. Just thought I had a helicopter. I think a bird just got taken out. Yeah. I see some feathers here. <laughs> Sure, it wasn't a demon. Uh, nah, it was a bird. I saw feathers. Oh, there's. Yep, there's a feather. I'll take that. Oh, here we go. This is real now. Hey, you got some legs is in there for you. Hey, hey. Oh, calm down, sir. So. You keep those legs to yourself. With the legs, it's all about the gap. Yeah. The gap can uh, leave. So, you know, like. This distance between here and the fence is a good is a good distance. You know, it's what is it, two, two or three spaces? So really, you're building a massive base. Yeah, with the... about three spaces between. Oh, just trying to stir him up a little bit. But yeah, everything, everything's worth their weight in, you know, gold as far as the, the only things that I haven't really seen go off, or haven't really noticed, is these, uh, holly, uh, what they call them, uh, hokey pokies. Oh, they go off and they hurt. They cause a lot of yeah. damage to the hokey pokey traps. I did do them the wrong way though. I saw a comment and you said yeah. it as well, that... It would have been more effective if I laid them horizontally, not vertically. Yeah. So they swing, you know, sort of side to side, not back and forward. There's a skunk yep. down there. These legsies are annoying. Oh, they are. They're almost as annoying as the clap noise out off of the, um, off of the hollies. Yep, 100%. 100%. Well, was that everything we needed to do tonight, James? Did um, was there anything else in the comments that people wanted to see? Um, I think no. That's about it. That's about it. I know there was a comment that wanted us to do like a a no blueprint sort of traps and stuff like that. You know, like the spikes and stuff like that. Just things without blueprints. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um So what would that have involved? Uh spike fence. Um and that it, doesn't have a blueprint. Yeah, I don't know, eh? Your spike defense is pretty much all you got, isn't it? 
Yeah. I don't know if there's anything else. Just having a look through now. Yeah, but they're all blueprints. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh! Yeah, one's on the roof. Yeah, yeah, you saying hi. Yeah, even the spring trap. We haven't even worried about those. That they're good good hardy. Yeah, yeah, we did I did see that in the comments about the spring traps actually as well. We should have probably implemented a few of those. They're actually quite effective. Yeah, yeah. Um the butterfly are the butterfly traps? Uh swipe swipe water. Yeah, fly, they're good too. They actually made a lot of improvements on those particular traps. Mm. Um I think it was around patch eleven or patch twelve or something like that. Maybe even yeah. earlier, I can't remember. But they were pretty pitiful uh, yeah. before that, and now they're actually quite effective, especially against cannibals. Yeah. And um, sort of your budget mutants, if you want to call them. Your low-powered <laughs> ones. The Aldi ones. The Aldi ones, yeah. <laughs> Aldi. <laughs> your, budget, your budget warehouse sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, all right. These guys yeah, are going to keep flopping around destroying things, but they're not going to get... They can't get through the actual wall unless they jump. Yeah. I yeah. think that's going to do it for tonight, man. I think that's her, mate. I think that's it. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the uh, little bit of a follow-up video. We This is sort of like a rematch, but we all knew at the end of the day these walls are going to hold unless you got something that could jump them. The yeah. spikes are pretty good. You know, all the traps did their job. It just sucks you got to re... Um, Bastard. You gotta redo, like reactivate all the traps and everything like that. It can be pretty annoying. Yeah. yeah. You know, and also while you while, while um this scenario might have been a little bit, you know, far fetched as far as the amount of um uh defense that was put in between. But um Kelvin maintain base, bang. Resets them. You know? Yeah, but he cowers. Yeah. I see him when there's a whole bunch of cannibals, even like one cannibal. He points and he gets into the fetal position, and then what good is he do? You? He runs away. Yeah. Or they pick on him and take him down, you know? Yeah. So if you had an army of Calvins all doing the base, uh, base maintenance, then maybe. Yeah. You might, might get one thing. or two that will actually stand their ground. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, Jesus. Alrighty. Hopefully this was a fun episode for everybody. At least we got to try it a little bit more on um, each other's bases to sort of see how it handle. I believe my traps did fare up a lot better than yours, James. Um, yeah, yeah. If we came down to it, this base would have won, honestly. Yeah, well, um, I had the wall against it. You've got the river yep. um, at the back. Your gappage in between was a lot more effective than mine. Um, yeah. But at the end of the day, you won fair and square. It was a random pick. I know that's not what everyone wanted to, everyone wanted to see, but I thought we'll try to make it a little bit of fun for everybody because yeah. we could always just put 50 hollies or 50 mutants or whatever and pit it yeah. up. I thought let's have a little bit of fun with the wheel and I always draw the short end of the straw, don't I, James? Yes, you do. That's just my luck. James now knows. I've been saying it for a long time. I said, if I didn't have bad luck, I would have no luck at all. And yep, he finally believes right. me. He finally believes me. Yep. That's just how my life works. <laughs> one thing one thing he should never buy in his whole, his, his whole existence is a lotto ticket. Yeah, but you should, James, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Get yourself a lotto ticket, mate. You yeah. seem to be quite lucky. Yep, 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 yep. All right, everybody. We're going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching. If you please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. That'll be awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.